this courtroom packed full with party supporters and politicians, including Peter Obi of the Labour Party. Tension is high as people await the Court of Appeals ruling on whether INEC can reconfigure its electoral machines, BVAS, or not to do so ahead of Saturday's governorship and state houses of assembly polls. Obi, along with Atiko Bakar of the PDP who contested in the presidential elections, had expressed fears about INEC's application seeking to reset the Beavers machines ahead of this weekend's state-level elections. The three-member panel, led by Joseph Ike, however, granted permission to INEC to reconfigure the Beavers for the next round of polls, but directed INEC to ensure that it uploads the February 25th presidential results data to its back-end server and makes certified true copies available for all respondents. In what looked like a win-win for all parties, the court also maintained its earlier order made on March 3rd, allowing Obi and Atiku to inspect sensitive electoral materials. It also went ahead to grant presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Ametinubu, access to inspect the same sensitive electoral materials for the defense of his case. The ruling brought some respite for lawyers representing the different parties in court. The fears of Nigerians is allayed because we are going to conduct a election as scheduled by INEC. We have two elections on that day, Gonnafi election and State Houses of Assembly election. These are what we are going to conduct on the 11th, on the 11th of March, inshallah. The relief granted by the court on the 3rd of March 2023 stand. In other words, they have to comply with the orders of court and allow us to have access. And we need just seven days to have all that we need. Because without exercising our right to have access to all these uh, reliefs I've mentioned, that simply means that our petition is indirectly being affected. The good news is that the initial order of the, of the court made on the 3rd of March, permitting Peter Gregory Obi and Labour Party to inspect the facilities of INEC, including the BBS machine, which they intend to use for, to prove their petition, those orders, those orders are sustained. The, the application to seeking to vary it was refused. All is now set for the parties to conduct their forensic examination of the ballot papers and other electronic documents and materials used by the electoral body on election day as Nigerians await the commencement of hearing for what many have termed an interesting legal battle ahead. Mr. Man, Mr. Man, Madam, if I may ask, what is going on here? I don't know this man. I never even seen him before. Continue. This land of my husband even died. We don't have used this land for over 30 years now. Now this man comes in. He said, make I pay money for land use. I don't even know what it be land use. Oh, over 30 years old, we don't they use this land. Nothing like that don't happen. Okay, <laughs> I will agree to pay. But I know the money to pay now. I tell you, I'm going to pay this money for this man. No, you. They're going to show me like this. It's night too. We just free. Madam, you mean you have not been paying your land use? I never heard of this kind of one before now. You have not heard of that? <laughs> yes. Wonderful. <laughs> For your information, yes. my name is Damilola Agbado. Yes. I am from the Federal Tower Hall. Yes. The Lord demands you to follow me right now eh? while we settle the case in the presidential room. Yes. Nah, <laughs> Move it! Move it! 